Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a bit of a different video. I'm sitting on the floor. I have just decluttered my main lipstick collection. I know that sounds really weird, but I've got lipsticks in the other places as well. So I will get to them at a later date, but this video was already quite lengthy. So I just wanted to get this one up and see how you guys feel about these decluttering videos of makeup and other things. Because since I moved, I have been decluttering and a few guys have mentioned on the vlog channel that you'd love to see the decluttering cluttering going on <laughs> so I wanted to share it with you before we get into it I'm gonna kind of copy Shannon here and say all of the makeup is going to go to friends or be donated a lot of the makeup has been used and the new stuff may be quite old so I don't want to give that away if it's too old kind of thing I am at the moment running some Instagram giveaways on my Instagram so you can head over there and have the chance to win some goodies I'm having a new one every week for well I don't know just head over there and have a look and see what the current one is but yeah anyway let's get into the lipstick decluttering here is the first lot of lipsticks of my lipstick decluttering uh, let's just get right into it okay so oh my god these ones here are the Nudes by Maybelline. I feel like that there's just a couple of shades that I use, which are probably all of them. Definitely use Sultry Sand. I like mixing this one in with other lipsticks. It's kind of like broken though, like it doesn't wind up very well, but I love mixing it with other lipsticks. So that is a keep. Honey Beige, I never use that. Tantalizing Taupe. Yeah, like I use that a bit. Blushing beige, Death's brazen beige. Yeah, um, coffee craze. I never use. This is an Ulta three lipstick, harem pink. I think I used it once. There's a sleek lipstick. I'm never going to wear that. <laughs> It's like something that I would have worn a couple of years ago, but I never wear now. All these Australis ones, I have quite a few of them. And to be honest, like I never wear them. I might, I used to wear this one all the time. This is called Lick the Icing. I honestly don't ever wear these. I might keep like a couple, but they're even like the old packaging. So that one's quite nice. I might keep that one. The others, I just do not wear. Like another red one. Like they're a nice formula, but they're really old too. Same with these Face of Australia ones. I got all of them and like that one's all yuck anyway. So that one's in peaches and cream. I never wear them anymore. I used to wear them all the time and just never. Now, yeah. that's an Australis. Ah, uh, these Miss Shop ones. That one's a beautiful color, but it's trash. Same with the Sports Girl ones. Like they're really old. I never wear them. On so Miss Shop, some of these Miss Shop ones haven't even been used. Uh, Australis. Sports Girl, Face of Australia, Face of Australia. This Galactic one, like it's nice, but I never wear it. This is a Milani lipstick. I do have a tutorial that I want to film, but I think I've got other lip products, but I might just hang on to it just in case. There, I've got these Runway Room lipsticks in Librarian and Trophy Wife. I did the Runway Room cosmetics thing, but like I never wear them. I've got two Anoxa lipsticks and this one, it's like that other Maybelline one that you can mix with other lipsticks and oh my god, are these the same colour? That one's like really nude. Oh. Oh yeah. They are a bit. This one's a lot more nude. I don't feel like I'm done with them yet. Got a couple of Bow Beauty lipsticks. I never use them. Another Sports Girl. Another Bow Beauty. This an Oxa one. Like, it's really pretty, but I never use it. It's like a purple. This Rimmel one, it's a really nice color. It's called Notting Hill Nude, but it's not for me. This hasn't even been opened. It's a wet and wild one. Uh, I've got these Mellow lipsticks, and they're pretty nice, um, but the formula is so drying, and this posh one, like, totally broke, so... I might hang on to these colors because they're a bit different. This LA girl color I used to wear all the time. It's called Secret Admirer. Like that used to be like my fave color. Not anymore. I should have bought tissues down here. It's Max Factor one. No. I don't think that this formula was very good. I don't think I've even opened that one. 
oh my gosh these lime chrome ones I remember spending like a fortune on these this one is called great pink planet and it's one of those like pinky kind of colors that I always used to wear that I don't wear anymore and this one is Babette and I remember Lauren Curtis going on and on about that that color is pretty but oh no or was it coquette wait hold on oh, this one's coquette and I reckon I got like a different color to her Although that color looks so pretty now Mm, why don't I use these? Are these like moisturizing? They kind of look it. Maybe I'll, I'll keep Coquette because that looks quite nice, but I don't need the other two. And like with these lipsticks, I was like so scared to use them because I spent so much money on them and then I never used them. So silly. Face of Australia. Um, I've got this Inglot in 144. Look at this, like another one of those pinks. Like I'll, I'll never wear that, never. Kate lipstick in number 16. Like, it's nice, but no, never wear it. Oh, another one runway room. Although this one is quite nice. Like, it's a really bold pink. Mm, tickled pink L'Oreal. No, it's like a frosty one. I think you're cute. Oh my gosh, that kind of color. I used to wear that all the time. No. It's so funny how your taste changes so much. Revlon Fuchsia Fusion. No. Another Milani Flamingo Pose. I don't, it looks like a really pretty color, but I don't think I'll wear it. Another Bow Beauty. I've got this NYX one. This is actually like quite a nice color and it's really moisturizing. It's really nice actually, I'll keep that. Um, I've got this, what's this in? This is NARS Gypsy. Oh, I've never even used that. That looks really nice actually. I might use that for like an autumn tutorial. I'm sorry you can see my feet. Do a little wipe away stop spot. Rimmel 113. I've got other nudes I think I like better, but it is a nice color. I might keep that. I'm such a nude kind of person. Oh, this is a Forever 21. No thanks. And the same with that one. No thanks. These ones were a Maybelline. Oh my god, this one. Hold on. This Revlon one called Cupcake. I used to wear this one all the time. All the time. Goodbye. Yeah, these ones were like a collection with Maybelline and I don't even think, I haven't even opened that one. That one's called Power Peony. This one, like just not colors that I'm gonna wear. Oh, I think that one was broken anyway. I'm gonna try and bounce back in here. This is the one I used to wear quite a bit, but look at the color. It's like that purpley, like that purpley pinky kind of color that I no longer wear. Water Gloss Dewy Super, Super Shine Bow Beauty. No thanks. This is a Maybelline one. Oh, that looks nice, but does it have shimmer? I feel like it has shimmer. Yep, that one has shimmer. We're getting there, we're getting there. The, this one, this one can go, I think. It's one of those Revlon glossy balm things. Okay, I've got some Chi Chi lipsticks, and I actually do like these, but I don't use them. I definitely love this color called Sex Bomb. That's really awesome. Keep that. Stylish. One of those pinks. Maybe I should keep some, like just in case. Bad, bad girl. No. Um, shake that booty. That was like a color that I used to wear. I might just keep that one. Super hottie. That was actually really cool. Oh, it's like a bright coral. I like that. Um, oh, this one is like a favorite of mine. It's called Pink Please by Maybelline. Perfect nude. Love it. Another one of these mellow ones. I really do like that color I used in a tutorial. Australis Gangster Wrap. Oh, that's kind of cool. Might keep that. This was the worst formula ever. This matte lipstick. It's in Hippie Chic. No. Kiko. Oh, I love that color. And then this Australis one, um, I might keep that one. Bobbi Brown. Oh, this one was really nice. This is in Bikini Pink. That's nice. Oh, Bite Beauty. These are gorgeous. This is Fig. And this one kind of is a bit munted, but it's beautiful. Love them. Gorgeous Cosmetics. It's a nude. Don't really need it. Inglot. Oh, this used to be like one of my favorite nudes, but 
I don't know. Maybe I'll keep it and try and reuse it. Kiko. Nah, I think I'll get rid of that one. Oh, this one used to be my... Oh, I got this one at like eye mats. The first eye mats that I went to. I have to keep that. It's Makeup Forever N21. Just for memory's sake, right? Then I have Maybelline Vivids. Do you guys remember these? These were all, all the rage, all the rage. <laughs> Safe to say I do not wear them anymore, but they are a really good lipstick, so I might keep them. NYX Round Lipstick in Talia, love it. This Essence in number eight, don't love it. There's these matte lipsticks from Maybelline. I think I might hang on to these ones because these are actually quite nice. Pink Fling, oh my god, that's the best. And More to Adore. What's that? Oh, that's nice. They're, not, they're quite nice. We're getting there, we're getting, oh, Rimmel, yep, keeping that one. This one is in 210, love them. What's this, 711. Oh, I don't feel like that that's very opaque. That's a Maybelline Tip Top Chul. Oh, I don't think I'll keep that. That's a red one. Covergirl. That's Frost Frost. Barry M. Oh, my God. These were all the rage. Like, literally. That's a really nice color. But I don't need it. Rimmel Pink Blush. Have I even used that? Too Faced. Oh, that's a brand new one. I don't think I need it, though. By Beauty in Shiraz. Love that. Oh, it's another... Oh, same money. Oh, I remember I wanted to do a tutorial with that lilac lipstick. Yeah, that's kind of fug. Berry M. Ooh. 147. Oh. No thanks. That elf gloss is okay. Oh my god, guys, my pile is getting so much smaller. Bow Beauty, Bow Beauty, Bow Beauty, Miss Shop. I actually like this Think Pink by Wet n Wild, so I'll keep that. Airy Fairy. Ooh, that looks quite nice. It's got like another color over the top of it though. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. Kiko in that pink. <laughs> I used to love this. This is NYX India. Look. <laughs> you can't even see it because the light's reflecting off of it. But oh my god. I have to keep that the old thing. Another Bow Beauty. I like this Wet n Wild one in Dollhouse Pink. Brings back memories. This Australia lipstick. You can get rid of that. Another Barry M. Oh, that's so cool. I have to keep that. Oh, that's really pretty. This is called Cherry Picking by Wet n Wild. Then we've got some of these Maybelline ones that I have not even opened. An Essence thing. I wonder if I've even opened it. Oh, I think I used this in a tutorial. I don't need that. Wet n Wild. It's like a pink, purpley lipstick. Barry M. Oh, yeah. I used to wear this one all the time. I'll keep that for all time's sake. Uh, I used to mix that one. Um, don't need that mixing one. Urban Decay Obsessed. Oh, it's a pink, but it's a nice pink. It is a nice pink. Kaylin. Mm, that's a really pretty red, though. I might keep that. Inglot. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, my God. This color I used to be obsessed with. <laughs> that's like neon. Neon. I have to keep that for old time's sake. Um, smoking hot pink. No. These look so gross. Like, they're so gross. These are just wet and wild ones. Don't need them. I used to wear that one, but that is gross. Oh, I love this one. I did a tutorial for Maybelline using this, and it was so pretty. These L'Oreal ones. I don't know how I feel about them. I don't think I need that one, but I like this nude one. And another Inglot. Oh my gosh, I used to wear this one. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna keep that one. And then this Essence one, number seven. That looks really pretty, so I'll keep that. And I'll probably just keep that. So this is the bunch of lipsticks that I am giving away, that I do not need in my collection, that I'm decluttering, getting rid of. And these are the ones that I am keeping. Some of them have sentimental value. Some of them I use. Some of them I want to try and use a bit more. Obviously, I still want to do makeup tutorials, so I need to keep a diverse range of colors, even though I've gotten rid of a lot. 
So that basically wraps up my first decluttering video of lipsticks. I just put in this clip at the end of me organizing them. This drawer used to be full of lipsticks and I had so many more. So it feels good to finally have space in my drawer again. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you'd like to see more decluttering videos. I can definitely do a few more if you like them. Thanks so much for watching and have a fantastic day.